flames rise up. I was just seeing like an orange glow as if a fire was burning. And then 10 minutes after these, these flames or the, this red glow that the craft had landed near, after that all happened, a helicopter appeared, she said, flying low and unmarked. And it flew low over the ground and the area, the field exactly where this, uh, where this craft had appeared and then it crisscrossed the area a few times it flew back over diane's house and then took off and disappeared into the night gone right it's it's it's, it's a while like so she like knowing like it's, it's dark out there but like she's got this in the back of her mind so she's like i want to like i'm gonna go out and take a peek at this in the morning so like in the morning like she goes out because she's like you know she's concerned to like this happened right there like i should be able to see something of what happened she goes out there and she's looking for like if fires were burning and she, she doesn't see that she doesn't see those like burn marks she doesn't she doesn't kind of see that stuff so she's flabbergasted at what she saw the night before and then so it, the the initial guardian documents that that were arrived wouldn't be the last time that they would hear from this anonymous source but i we hope should not. probably take a break before we get into the return yeah. of guardian of the, gor- of the guardian <laughs> dan's on it that's a perfect time we'll be right back we're back for the return of guardian so in the middle of october 1991 q4 started to receive more of the guardian insider information uh via the mail and apparently it was all postmarked ottawa so it's just from I ottawa love it. I love it. Just <laughs> from ottawa, ottawa. <laughs> yeah. um so uh one of the envelopes uh, contained some documents that described again another went into a little bit more in-depth uh description of the conspiracy between the chinese and the gray aliens uh who were planning on taking over the world um uh, after that one, there came a Polaroid photograph of a UFO, uh, which was uh, pictured flying across uh, an un- unidentified road. And then even later, they had another one, another package, uh, which contained a black and white picture of another gray type, you know, description wise, like a gray type uh, alien Uh and this one was usually this is usually the one they show i believe like when when you look into this case this is one of the photos that usually goes with this case and they're like that could be anything that it almost looks like a person in a hoodie with just like an alien mask on because it's it's real it's not entirely distinct like it's just a pretty much yeah, like a vaguely humanoid or like a bipedal shape with like a white face um from from yeah, pretty far away yeah, it's um, hard to tell. It's definitely hard to make out what it is. Like, if you showed me that picture and be like, what do you think? I'd be like, I don't know. I'd be like, it kind of, and if you like pointing, be like, see the alien head? I'd be like, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but I'm like, I could do that with toast sometimes. Right. Uh, but probably the most interesting delivery was the the one that was the fourth in this series and this contained a vhs a vhs videotape uh with VHS, a green label vhs vhs, VHS. um uh videotape with a green label on it which had a thumbprint on it a distinct thumbprint uh, that intentionally had been put there and like with the word greased up their thumb and just here you go here's me <laughs> and uh and then on there, Open it was <laughs> clearly printed Guardian, as if they didn't know who it was from, you know, just in case they didn't suspect who it was from, I suppose. Um, and this is also uh, one of the packages. Well, hey, this that is a contained... big step up from playing cards, man. Went from playing yeah. cards to a VHS. Like, right. Well, they closer. had the playing cards in this one uh, as well. Um, or this yeah, is the oh, one okay. that contained the Ace, the King, and the Joker uh, playing cards, all with a, a set of, of handwritten notes. Uh, uh, he left his calling them. card. He's got a flair for the <laughs> at- theatrics. It's the fucking yeah. Canadian Joker, boys. Yeah, yeah. five of clubs. <laughs> yeah. uh, this package also contained a photocopy, <laughs> a photocopy map where it showed the uh, what is labeled as the Gray's Landing Area, and then uh, contain you know also written on there it contained notes that explained that those those flames that. Uh, that Labanek had been seen were actually flares, uh, which had been placed there to help the UFO land. 
Um, now this VHS had footage um, that seemed to to seem to like corroborate Labanek's story uh, as it, it seemed to picture depict the events that she had described um, that, that happened to her or what she had witnessed on that night of August 18th, 1991. Well, it's like, so now we have like video evidence of this, of this event that someone witnessed, you have corresponding, uh, video evidence that something in, indeed happened and then it's like it's it, you know like Zell's kind of said earlier like if, if we're gonna s assume this is you know some sort of hoax and they a, they filmed some sort of hoax here you would think that there would have been equipment being brought in you know you would have you would have there's something there it would have been well you been something there. but we don't necessarily know the landing site in this situation you know where Labanek best believes where it landed but we don't really yes. know exactly where the land that's true the one thing i found super interesting like dan said initially they sent out multi like uh guardian sent out multiple copies um of the letters the playing cards and in this situation they did the same thing that he sent out multiple copies of the vhs but which which was super interesting like so move on ontario and like we're gonna we'll, we'll talk about bob exler here soon as well they all got vhs's but they were all different Right, um, one would have a different angle of of the of the scene. The other one was missing like any audio tracks. One had a longer one. Like it, it's pretty interesting. So it's almost like someone set up, like knew this was happening where it was, and had positioned like a setup to capture it on on film. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so this is when, like Andrew mentioned, this is when the uh, the case goes international uh, because those those set of documents and the VHS tape, a copy of the video at least, were sent to Bob Exler. Um, and Bob Exler was a UFO, a pretty big B UFO investigator at the time, uh, kind of well known in UFO circles. And so this thing was addressed to him, and he received a video. And his his did differ from the original footage, as it did not seem to contain an audio track. Um, and it had an uh, additional scene on it, which was a seemed to be a somewhat closer uh, one minute shot of what the alien, what was you know claimed to be the second alien camera craft, <laughs> second camera, second angle. It seems that, or the same camera, and just it got closer at some point. Um, I believe, that, like I think the one minute scene was actually it seems to be shot from a vehicle of some type. Like I think that's one of the. Uh, um, one of the traits that they described is this one was from inside a vehicle as opposed to the one that could have been shot. Uh, most of the foot, like the majority of the footage was actually seemed to be a shot like outside uh, at a distance, but outside a vehicle, like, out, you know, in the field uh, near yeah, where the, it, the actual site was. It was interesting too, because one of the guys who got that copy or either saw that copy of the video um he was the one that came up with that because I guess at the time he like, that was his day job was installing windshields in vehicles. And he's like, I know for sure that that's shot from the inside of a windshield. I uh, stare at these all fucking day at work. Like, which I thought was pretty funny. So not very lucrative back in the nineties to be part of, uh, these UFO organizations, I guess. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's always a hobby. I don't think, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know if any UFO course, yeah. investigators that really make a lot of money. <laughs> I don't think. Well, Exler tried. Yeah. Uh, now, the thing is, <clears throat> what they caught on tape was, you know, what, like, what there is when you see it, a discernible craft with, uh, with a light a, a, on the top flashing. Like a strobe and it does light. It's a st uh, some sort of strobe light. And it does, it, it's, it's at night, but you can see the, the strobe light and whatever is glowing in the middle of it does, you know, illuminate the appearance of a craft. It does. Like when you look at it, you don't think so, Andrew, you saw that and you went, no, nope. I, I think it looks like, it looks like plenty of different things. It looks <laughs> like first time I looked at it, it looked like a fucking backhoe pulling out a quad out of a ditch. Oh, it doesn't time look, I looked at it, it looked like fucking emergency <laughs> lights. That didn't look like that at right. all. You're out of your goddamn mind. You thought of, I, I would, I would challenge right. how many backhoes you've seen in your entire life. Yeah, well, enough. <laughs> seen one, Mem remembered it well. Yeah, perfectly seen one it. seen them all but <laughs> uh so Exler went on to take this footage and then he called up his buddy uh uf fellow ufologist bruce mcavey and uh you know to kind of corroborate and get another pair of eyes on this video about what they were seeing mcavey came to the conclusion that there was something here deserving 
further investigation that it was uh what is in the video is not exactly clear but it's you have this and after you have the the, the footage of the hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation you get full access to it on patreon Anyways, thanks guys, enjoy the next video.